Hi, this is Suze Leventero. We are going to do um, Virgo, Virgo Moon. We're in Virgo Moon, and I feel the effects already that uh, Mercury uh, retrograde is going direct, but I feel like it's already there. Okay, so that's what it feels like. Okay, so uh, let's start with a wheel. <laughs> okay, something came out. Okay. All right, Virgo, Virgo Moon, Virgo, Virgo Moon messages. Moon messages. Libra and Pisces. Hmm. Lots coming out. Okay, so this, I feel like that bunch is for a Libra. Okay, but I'll put it on the side because it could, it's like Libra and Virgo energy. Libra, Virgo, Pisces. is trying to come out. Let's see what that is. I'll take those. All right. Woo! So I feel like this bunch here is for the Libra Pisces Virgo energy. So we'll put that there. This came out. Woo! Victory Garden Virgo. Okay. I like that. <laughs> Okay, expand your worldview. Anything else that popped out? Okay. All right, I think that's it. Okay, so let me scoot over. Scoot this over. All right, so first up, since, let's see, we've got out and about okay getting out there right that piscean energy might be like not just dreaming and not moving so and making uh, uh making lemonade out of lemons right if you've been dealt lemons okay so there's an h in this initial here and an s which looks like an eight s and So that's a three, eight and a four. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, three. Okay, so that's what it breaks down into. Okay, so the beginning of something with a Scorpio for somebody. Okay, so there could have the something could have soured in the relationship. Okay, but um, oh, let me get. I was gonna do these and I forgot. Okay, let me get some. Uh, digging in here. Alright, so let's see. Ask the right questions. Okay. Alright. I feel like you don't have to explain to anybody what you're doing. Okay, I feel like the more you try to explain, the more um, it's just focus on what you're bringing in. Okay, govern. Justice. Okay, something's going to 
balance out. Okay, there's been some legal stuff. Things are going to work out, okay, for you. All right, and strike. Okay. Okay, so I, I feel like you're on target. That's what I'm getting with that one. You're on target. Okay, so it's like hitting the mark. Okay, now equal... Okay, so I felt, I feel like you wanted to leave something, like I'm out. Okay, so, but that might have been a pause that you needed. Okay, all right, and here's battle. Okay, so, um, you know, people don't realize to be human, there's a lot going on with each individual, right? And uh, sometimes, uh, Yeah, the wind's coming for you. All your personal battles, all the battles maybe even in the outside world, it's all gonna balance out for you. Thank God. <laughs> Thanks be to God, right? <laughs> the energy within. Okay, so. All right, so, oh, I'm Victory Garden. I already forgot about that. Okay, so let me read that. Growing your own food helps everyone appreciate the labor that goes into producing the food we eat. Absolutely. <laughs> Try that one summer, especially with the heat and stuff that's been going on to keep stuff alive. Okay. All right. Yeah. And to, this morning, I enjoyed one pepper. <laughs> That grew from my pepper plant, but I have other blossoms. So, but um, I had that with some cheese toast, and it was so delicious. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, it's just we take for granted sometimes, right? The abundance. Okay, into producing the food we eat, whether it's coaxing a single cucumber in a windowsill planter or cultivating a section of your uh, lawn into a sumptuous plot of sprouting veggies. This new understanding will help your family make informed choices at the grocery store. Okay, right. And I feel like I even do it. You know, it's like you get things and then uh, you forget about them in the refrigerator, right? And we have to remember that there are people in the world uh, that don't have that luxury. Okay. All right, expand your worldview. Choose a member of your family at random and then think of a country whose name begins with the first letter of that person's name. Take turns researching that country in detail. Share your findings over dinner. What did you learn about that country's culture or history? Okay, so I just got a flashback of when I was a child um, in Japan and we had International Day and we all brought in a dish from another country and that was so much fun. Okay, so potluck dinner was coming up in another reading. So that might be fun for Virgos. Okay, so try that. Or even... Uh, like swap meets and also like uh, gardening um, clubs or groups, starting a gardening group, okay, to share your experiences, okay. All right, I feel like that's, that's nice. These were from uh, yesterday and I forgot to put those back in there, okay. All right, now. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, Victory Garden, it could be with a Scorpio, okay, and, and it, the sweetness is coming up. That's the feeling. Okay, now what is this? Okay, so this is that Piscean energy. Sometimes when the polar opposite energy shows up in a reading, you haven't been all that positive, okay. But it could be that you're positive. You could have been working on dream work, right, the Neptune retrograde, and building those dreams, okay, to bring into the physical reality. Now, in this energy, if it was this way, I feel like uh, there could have been some people in the world that could not relate to you and see your vision of the future, okay, so, but here, they are going to see it, it's like, uh, you might have laid around a lot to do um, get in the high vibing. Sometimes meditating requires relaxing a lot, which I do too. 
Okay, but it's interesting that this ankle is bound here to this root. Okay. All right, so it's like almost like someone could have wished uh, you for you to trip up on something. Okay, but uh, is that an ankle bracelet? Okay, you did get the Libra and Pisces energy. Okay, so oh, I get it. Okay, when people um, sometimes. They get, what is that? At home, at home, um, is that when they, I don't even know. It's like, um, when people get arrested and they get an ankle bracelet, what is that? I don't even know, but that's what that is for someone. Okay. It was a Libra and they did that to their friend. Somehow got in trouble, entanglement. All right, now, so, I don't know why that's coming up here. Okay, all right, but, that's strange. Okay, so I never know. I just have to read the energy that pops up here on the front. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so if you felt bound to any kind of situation, you are free. That's the message. Okay, so it's like you've got a halo and you're protected, and you've been protecting your crown. Okay, okay. So what's interesting is these remind me of deer antlers, okay, and gazelle came up the other day, okay, gazelle. So if there's a water sign that's been interested in you, they may make the moves, but they're trying to, it's like they're trying to get the courage. Now, this energy could also be that they were whoever has the water dominant. So what is that? Water dominant rising or moon in their charts, uh, especially Scorpio, then they could have felt bound to you somehow. That's an entanglement. And they're hiding it. And see how this one's looking in the past? It's a past life connection, that. Okay. Okay, so that was coming up yesterday in a Taurus reading. I think it was Taurus. It was like two people looking the other way, but they were really looking at each other. <laughs> okay, now let's see. I feel like music is the outlet. I, music is... A music collaboration is coming in for a Virgo. Why did I just get Farrah Jaca? Okay, if you're a rapper, a lot of times those uh, nursery rhymes and things can get you in the flow. Something like that's coming up. Okay. Um, Farrah Jaca. Fer I don't know. Anyway, okay. So, what else am I getting? Treble clef and bass clef. Okay. It's like two people uh, coming together making music. And it could be just a metaphor for wonderful things in life, right? But here's some sharp notes and flat notes. Okay. All right, let's see what this says. The creative masterminds, charming their comrades. Energy feels like lullaby. Oh my gosh. Okay. So classical music might be inspiring too. Okay. They have those uh, lullaby uh, classical music. It's nice for relaxing, even for adults, I think. Okay, so you might go look into that. Okay, so... I feel like this is a charming uh, combination, but let me get some more cards on this. I feel like I, 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 there's several things here. I like to see which one is most important here. All right, let me get the tarot. All right, let's see, I'll get this deck. Well, maybe this deck. All right, let's see.
Libra Pisces combo. Okay, so for on the positive side, it's a great match. Okay, on the positive side, it's a great match. Okay. Now, for some of you, if you're trying to be with a Libra, you could have gone into the Piscean energy to try and understand this person. Okay. You could have even done that to see what to create next. Like I said, that Neptune retrograde. Okay. What is that? Okay, now, let's see. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Okay, so the Libra ended it with somebody the Libra ended it with somebody okay and the moon okay so someone could have crossed over that's what I'm getting this sometimes if it comes with the nine of swords comes with the death symbol not death symbol, but um, like you pick up the energy of someone crossed over, and that could have been like they quickly passed away. Whoever this is quickly passed away. Oh, they were past life soulmates. So it could be two men or two women here. Oh, Gemini. Okay, so Sagittarius, Chiron. Oh, so this Libra. Now, for some of you, this is a Libra and Aquarius. Okay. And they're past life soulmates. And it's still a Gemini, the one that crossed over. Okay. Now, here is saying Gemini crossed over, but for some of you, that could be you ended a relationship with a soulmate, be it uh, albite, what is that? Uh, albeit, albite, Ger some Germans coming up. <laughs> I only had German for a year, but all right. Okay, so let's just skip that and uh, before I, um, all right, so. Okay, so it could have been an ending uh, past life soulmate. Okay, and I'm getting cactus tail here. And carnations. Cactus tail and carnations. Okay. Past life soulmate. Okay, so they went into the light. They went into the light. Let me move this thing over. They went into the light. Okay. So, it could have meant rebirth in the physical realm or a rebirth in the um, ethers, in the um, non-physical realm. Okay, it's like they're being born again. Okay. Yeah, they're going into a new reality here. Okay, now if you're an Aquarius and you're here it's shown me that there were some tough times um, keep the faith because here's sun and the world you're stepping into a new reality it's a big paradigm shift so get ready for the changes get ready for the changes now okay this is beautiful Oh, that's interesting this morning I saw this thing that said in the Black Sea they found some sort of statue or something I was like I don't know it felt when I tried to scan the statue I wasn't sure all right develop okay the world okay the world okay what's next yeah, 
Okay, so the taking subtle actions, surrendering to the divine within, but also taking subtle actions is very important. Movement. Because you got high priestess reversed twice. See? Okay, so for one, whoever this is crossed over and you feel like you can't communicate with them, they can still communicate, you still can communicate with them. That's the message. All right, so we were in, um, that came out like this, Mercury retrograde, but it's going direct. Okay, eight of wands. There's some fast communication coming in. So pay attention. Yeah, that's the Perseverance card. It's like prevailing no matter what's, what has transgressed. Okay, wonderful Virgo. Okay, or Aquarius. Okay, now. Oh, okay, I see. Sometimes a Libra and Gemini combination can be dangerous. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, that's... That's, I don't know, sometimes that can be a dangerous combo. Okay, any rate. Yeah, Gemini and Libra combo. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so have faith that also there's going to be assistance in the finances. And I feel like it's a female uh, energy that's going to help you. Yeah, this is a vic victory. Now, for some of you, this is victory with a Scorpio. It's like something died. Um, the feeling of it's over. It's ended. And then here they come. Okay. So I want to say for uh, Virgo and Aquarius and Pisces, there is victory coming in. Okay, victory coming in. Opposition energy. What is this? Oh, here's the fool. Now, I don't know why when I flipped that, I got Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay, so it's like she gave me water. Okay, so it's like give yourself life. Give your DNA life by remembering to um, take in things that have water, like fruits and um, also water. Okay. All right. Something is emerging here. Now, there's a Sumerian. That's what's so interesting. Okay. Now, I want to share this real quick. Okay. So, I had a collective Sumerian group come visit me, right? And it was from my past life. Okay, so then what's weird was when I got onto the um, phone, there were like these Sumerian um, things on there. I posted one of them and I was like, that's really bizarre. I was like, I wonder if AI picked that up. <laughs> <laughs> because how could that get on my algorithm if I didn't even if I didn't even go on anything that had to do with that recently right I haven't even talked about it so how would that get on my algorithm right so I was like that's strange but then I want to say that uh, I feel like spirit is always communicating with you um, and there's different degrees of paying attention to it okay so remember to use that Piscean energy to get quiet so you can pick up these things. And one of the Sumerian uh, things uh, that was translated was something like, um, what was it? It was like, where there are not dogs, there's the fox rules or something like that. I was like, and that could be like tricky energy, right? Or it could be that playful pouncy energy so it just depends it's all talking about that opposition energy okay so finding middle ground again okay so here's the new beginning every day every moment can be like a new beginning okay 
there's a lot of focus here on the feet, right? Because it was ankles and then this one's trying to lick the feet. Okay. There's something in the Christian stories about feet, right? Washing the feet. Okay. Some story in there. Okay. And I feel like that has to do with compassion and love. Now, the readings this week, it's been the strength. One of the strengths is bringing in compassion and love. That was one of the strengths that was going to bring in victory. So that might be something you uh, practice. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay. So see, it's like the passion never died. Passion of the Christ for some. For some, this is a lover. For some, it's the passion of the Christ, and some, it's the lover. Okay, all right. Or passion of G underscore D, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, now. Whew. Yeah, and I, I told the collective, I was like, okay, after this one, I might not come back for 10,000 years. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. Okay. So here's a new beginning. Woo! Victory and new beginning. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Look. There's something, something wonderful here. Okay. So that's that Taurus energy I was talking about. Two people looking away like they weren't looking, but they really were. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is what happened in the past. Okay, so they walked away or pretended like they did. They had money issues. Whoever this is, they had money issues and they walked away. Could be any of these signs, Libra, Pisces, um, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, okay, we had uh, air sign, could be fire sign, right, if that's uh, polar opposite, okay, could be any of the signs, but okay, walked away, had money issues, but now they feel like they can, uh, they feel confident enough to come towards you, even if it's slow steps, or baby steps, <laughs> All right, so there is love here. All right, so those were the ones that were flipped up like this here. Okay. All right, that was um, that was a past story, but there, this is the new part. That's the old part. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's see what else is over here. This might be a long story here. Okay, no detail too small. Yeah, I was picking up mice in some other reading. Okay, so it was like 007. Okay, so that's like James Bond movie, right? To help, to help you organize and plan your big day, I'll bring this list. There's a glare here. I'll bring this list you supply the to-dos. Okay. So... Oh, this is a wedding. May your wedding day be golden. Okay. All right, so someone's getting married. Oh, I did the Pisces. I did three Pisces readings. And it was like... Um, there was wedding in December and, and June I picked up in one of them. Okay, so I feel like that's here for you too. All right. But this energy here to help you organize and plan, that's Virgo moon, wanting to organize things. So you might want to clear your mind to organize how you're going to move now, right? Okay. All right, so there's that money thing popping up again. Okay. Now, you could have had some entanglement with uh, Aquarius or Sagittarius, or they're dealing with trying to figure 